Hey guys, Jack Scalfani here, and boy, have I been doing a lot of homework on my sugar-free stuff. So I'm looking at uh, making sugar-free ice cream today. I'm like, okay, we're gonna do it with stevia, and we're gonna use the uh, Truvia packets, and it's gonna be awesome. And then I look at the recipe, and the recipe says uh, milk. Now, I don't know, you guys remember when I did uh, Playing With Your Food about milk, right? Every milk, regular milk, has sugar in it. I don't know how the, this is from a, a Stevia website that claims to be sugar-free ice cream and you're adding milk that has sugar in it. I have yet, I looked on the internet, regular milk, not almond milk, not, you know, soy milk. I'm talking regular milk, all has sugar put in it. All right, or has sugar in it. Uh, then I come to find out something about um, lactate. You know, the people who are lactose intolerant, it's because they don't have an enzyme in their stomach to process the milk. So I'm looking and lactate or the lactose free milk is just milk with the enzyme put in. They didn't remove anything. They just put the enzyme in that will help you process the lactose. Okay, so after further research, I decided to get rid of the milk, replace it with, uh, we're gonna do two versions. We're gonna try it with almond milk, which has zero sugar. Try and make our ice cream as true sugar-free should be. And then I'm also gonna do all heavy whipping cream. And all uh, heavy whipping cream has no sugar either. So we're gonna do two ice cream recipes, find out which one's better, if either one of them work, or do we just throw the recipe out? This is very experimental. Another warning, come on in close, I wanna show you something. So you're saying to yourself, oh, I got, I got Trubia, which is the brand name for Stevia, it's one of the brand names. They use Stevia and that's, that's good. This will make it sugar free. Wrong. If you look on the back on the ingredients, erythritol is an ingredient that's put with the Stevia. I don't know why, it's an additive and it's a uh, sugar alcohol. Erythritol is a sugar alcohol that has been approved for use as a food additive in the United States throughout much of the world. And it's in this packet. This is not sugar free. If you think it is, it's not. Look on the back and Google erythritol. That's gone. So I went to the drops. I had to do this company here is called it's Organic Stevia by Pure. And this is pure stevia without erythritol. So now I've got this, I've got the almond milk, I've got the heavy whipping cream, I've got the eggs. Let me get it all out and let's finally see if we can make a true sugar-free ice cream. Heavy whipping cream, milk, vanilla extract, pure stevia, and eggs. Let's just put it all in and get it going. And count these, one, Two, three, four. All right, let's whisk this up. Okay, if you look on the internet, there is no explanation on how this goes on. So you have to figure out whether you have a, a spring here or not a spring here. And in the book, it'll tell you. Do you put it on this way or this way? Okay? The wider way is without the spring. And you just take this one attachment. See that right there? Okay? I've got the letter B on the outside. There's an A and a B on the bottom here. If you have no spring, you slide it in this way. And you just, it just grips right on there. Just slide it up and in. There you go. Here's the freezer bowl. Lock into place. There we go. We're going to put this inside. Where is it? There we go. Inside. Hold it right there. We're going to lift up the, the bowl. There we go. Locked in place. You put it into stir mode. Take your batter. Pour it in. That's going. We're going to leave that 20 to 30 minutes. We're going to lower this down. We're going to pull our bowl out. We're gonna carefully remove the... <clears throat> wow, okay. We're gonna chisel this off carefully so that we can put 
this in. It just started climbing up this the mixing device. So, whoops. Get in there. All right, so I'm going to pop this ice cream in the freezer. Just about an hour or two. Just to firm it up, and we're going to check it out. All right, here we go. Okay, it has a consistency of ice milk. I would almost put in a little bit more vanilla flavoring though. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make that second recipe. I'm gonna put a little extra vanilla in it and I'm using all heavy whipping cream. I'm not using the almond milk. I wanna see if I can get more of that creamier ice cream flavor uh, with a pack. So uh, let's take it up a notch, guys. Test number two, two eggs. So I'm gonna beat everything individually. We're gonna try this a little different. Now we're gonna put in our drops. One, two, and you're gonna put in your vanilla. And I put just a half a teaspoon more of vanilla. Okay guys, this just stopped all on its own. It's, it slipped out, it's, see, see? It won't turn anymore. So, that means it's done. So here's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drop it down. I wasn't ready for that, that came out of nowhere. I only made it about 18 minutes. Let's drop this down. <sighs> what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna reach in and try this before I even scoop it all out. This is it. All right, so we got to take this. Mm. Yeah, I, I better scoop it out or I'm going to eat it all. Wonder why it wouldn't turn anymore. Okay, normally I don't like my ice cream frozen solid. We've had it in there for an hour. There it is. Oh, it's still soft. Oh my gosh, it still tastes good. Mmm. All right. One final improvement of this recipe. I told you it was major experimenting today. This is perfect. The 18 drops, the uh, teaspoon and a half of vanilla, it's perfect, except it got thick too fast, meaning I used too much cream. So I'm adding back a little bit of the almond milk to keep it slurring around for the 20 to 30 minutes it's supposed to to become ice cream. So the final version, the final recipe is down below. This is it. This is really good. I will see you guys in the next episode. Sugar-free. And be careful. Don't buy sugar-free ice cream in the store because it always says no sugar added. Tons of sugar and milk. So keep the milk out of it, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.